Intake Manifold and Turbo Inlet Kit Installation Guide. Disassembly. Step 1. Disconnect both battery negative terminals. Step 2. Drain coolant from the primary radiator. For HO applications, also drain coolant from the secondary radiator. Step 3. Remove the air cleaner outlet duct by loosening the clamps. Step 4. Remove the 4-way EGR coolant. Step 5. For HO only. Remove the turbo coolant feed and return hoses. Step 6. Remove the EGR temperature sensor from the EGR tube. Step 7. Remove the EGR tube. Step 8. Remove the manifold absolute pressure sensor shield. Step 9. Remove the MAP sensor off the intake manifold and disengage the push mount clip. Step 10. Disconnect the IAT sensor from the cold side charge pipe. Step 11. Disengage the cold side charge pipe from the throttle plate housing. Step 12. HO only. Remove the temperature sensor connector from the hot side charge pipe. Step 13. Remove the hot side charge pipe assembly. Step 14. Remove the throttle plate housing. Step 15. Disconnect the upper radiator hose from the thermostat housing. Step 16. Remove the thermostat housing cover. Step 17. Unmount the dipstick brackets. Step 18. Remove the bolts securing the driver's side of the intake manifold. Cut the zip tie securing the passenger side sensor harness. The zip tie is wrapped around the clip on top of the manifold stud. Step 19. Unscrew and disengage the harness mount off the passenger side intake manifold studded bolt. Step 20. HO only. Remove the turbo coolant feed and return stand pipes. Step 21. Remove the bolts securing the passenger side of the intake manifold. Step 22. 
Remove the bolt securing the front intake manifold. Step 23, disconnect the CCV hose from the turbo inlet. Step 24, remove the two bolts securing the factory plastic turbo inlet. Step 25, loosen the clamp securing the turbo inlet to the compressor housing. Step 26, remove the turbo inlet, then the intake manifold. Installation. Step one, slide the elbow coupler onto the compressor housing with the clamps loosely attached. Step two, slide the turbo inlet into the coupler, align the mounting bracket with the threaded holes on the thermostat bridge. Step three, install the supplied M8 bolts to the turbo inlet mounting bracket Finger tight only. Step four, adjust the elbow coupler to fit properly. Then tighten both elbow coupler clamps. Step five, torque the two turbo inlet M8 bolts to 16 pound feet. Step six, insert the EGT sensor connector mount to the bottom bracket of the turbo inlet. Step seven, install the carbon fiber airbox outlet, along with the straight coupler and the factory flexible coupler. Pay attention to the, cl the flexible coupler as there is a alignment tab on it. Step eight, slide the straight coupler onto the turbo inlet and tighten all clamps. Step nine, prepare the PPE intake manifold by installing the provided lower gaskets to the manifold. Make sure the gaskets are fully seated. Step 10, install the intake manifold in place. Step 11, install the larger spacer along with the long M8 bolt to the front of the manifold. Step 12, reinstall the stock studded bolt on the driver's side of the manifold along with the smaller spacer. Step 13, install the supplied stud and M6 flange nut to the passenger side of the manifold. This is the same location as where the factory studded bolt was installed. Step 14, install the six supplied manifold bolts to the rest of the mounting locations. Tighten all hardware installed from step 12 through step 14. Step 15, reinstall the dipstick brackets. The front bracket goes on top of the tall studded bolt, secure with an M6 nut. Secure the rear dipstick bracket to the welded tab on the PPE manifold with a short M6 bolt and a nut. Step 16. Attach one of the supplied push mount zip ties to the MAP sensor harness. Step 17, insert a new zip tie through the top of the passenger side plastic harness mount that was removed earlier. Push the mount onto the passenger side stud, then wrap the zip tie around the sensor harness. Step 18, mount the push mount zip tie installed from step 16 onto the welded bracket. 
Pull on the zip tie to secure the sensor harness and trim it off. Step 19. Reinstall the map sensor, secure with the supplied M5 bolt. Step 20. Reinstall the map sensor shield with two M6 nuts and two short M6 bolts. Step 21. Prepare the EGR tube by attaching supplied EGR gaskets. Utilize the bent tabs around the gasket to help retain gaskets. Step 22. Install the EGR tube reusing the factory bolts. Hand tighten all four bolts first before tightening them down. Step 23. Reinstall the EGR temperature sensor to the EGR tube. Secure the sensor harness with one of the supplied push mount zip ties. Attach the push mount to the side tab of the turbo inlet. Remove the O-ring and retainer from the factory turbo inlet CCV port. Step 24. Reinstall O-ring and retainer back to the factory CCV hose. Push CCV hose onto the turbo inlet until you hear a click. Step 25, HO only. Reinstall turbo coolant standpipes. Step 25, reinstall the four-way EGR coolant hose. Secure the hose to the intake manifold side bracket utilizing one of the supplied zip ties. Step 26, reinstall the thermostat housing cover. Step 27, reinstall the throttle plate housing and reconnect the connector that controls the actuator. Step 28, HO only. Remove the 90 degree fittings from the factory turbo coolant hoses. Also remove the 45 degree fitting. Step 29, HO only. Install both fittings back to the turbo coolant standpipes. Install the 45 degree fitting back to the radiator hose. Step 30, HO only. Install the turbo coolant feed hose along with two hose clamps. Connect it to the 45 degree fitting and the 90 degree fitting on the driver's side standpipe. Secure the hose to the side bracket of the intake manifold using a push mount zip tie. Step 31. HO only. Install the turbo coolant return hose along with two hose clamps. Connect one end to the 90 degree fitting on the passenger side standpipe. Connect the other end of the turbo coolant return hose to the supplied barbed connector, then to the radiator hose. Secure the radiator hose end with factory clamp. 
Secure the turbo coolant return hose using a push mount zip tie. Attach the zip tie to the bottom bracket of the intake manifold. Step 32, reinstall hot and cold charge air pipe and reconnect the temperature sensors. Reinstall the factory radiator hoses. Reconnect batteries and refill coolant bottle. Add as much coolant as possible as the initial fill. HO only. Add coolant to the secondary radiator coolant bottle. Installation complete.